the boxing programs is basically uh, we be we're using boxing as a tool to get the kids off the streets, and uh, when they're here, we try to get them to uh, uh, think more of education. You know, the education is the, the, the way that they should you know uh, perceive or check into. Uh, we have guest speakers, uh, uh, get anti-gang members that, that come by and talk to them. Uh, we had the ex-leader of the East Palo Alto uh, gang talk to him last Saturday, and again tell him why he got out, out of the gang and try to get him to really look uh, look at what they're doing and uh, to make him realize that they're the future of Napa, Napa, you know, county, Napa City, and uh, they need to strive to do the best that they can because they need to elevate their their, their race. Uh, and uh, so again, I'm just providing the tools to get the kids in here. The kids come in. And uh, we do the best that we can with them, try to, to be positive role models for them, uh, try to get them to think, again, positive. And so they basically, so they can try to go back to the school, do the best that they can, and uh, make, give them the self-confidence that they need. If they, if they have those boxing skills that they can utilize to protect themselves, they don't need the, 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 the gang, you know, they don't need the, the other members of the gangs uh, uh, to make it feel better, because they, they know within themselves that they can protect themselves and uh, so boxing is used as a tool to get the kids in here, but also as a way to, to give the kids a lot of self-confidence and to hopefully stay away, uh, make them realize they don't need that. They don't need the games. We have a lot of really good models. Uh, here we have Alfonso Gomez, a professional uh, boxer. Uh, the box profession in Mexico for, for uh, 10 years that is helping me. Uh, he's, he's helping with the lower, uh, younger kids from, uh, up to, uh, from 7 to 13 years old. Uh, Efraín Carrillo, uh, he comes in, uh, he helps uh, every year uh, uh, with the older kids. Uh, he's very dependable, he's been helping me, uh, you know, he helped me put the rings together with the kids, kind of help organize the kids and uh, uh, just did a marvelous job. He's one person I really depend on. Uh, Alfonso just joined our group, the joined our group here uh, the last couple of three weeks. Yeah, and, and he's been doing a great job with the little kids. Um, as you notice, the train that he, you know, put through. So there's a couple of people that feel like my right hand people that have been helping me a lot, and they're going to continue with helping. Uh, now that we will have keys for the outfit and for the space, now we can come in here at different times. <coughs> and uh, we have over a hundred, over a hundred kids that are that have come through the program. Um, again, ranging from seven years old up to 20, 23, 24. But we're concentrating on the kids between the ages of. Uh, of uh, like 15 to 19, because those are the kids that are more more with gangs, trying to get those kids away from that. So our concentration is on those kids. The older people, we use them as role models to help me clean up, to help me, uh, you know, keep the kids, supervise, supervise the kids. Uh, and anyone out there that uh, is, can help our program would really appreciate your assistance. Uh, if you, even if you don't have any, any boxing, you don't have any boxing abilities, uh, we can use you as uh, uh, as supervisors, as a uh, just help us clean up and, and maybe uh, fundraisers, people uh, writing, uh, just let other people, other people in the city know what we have to offer and how many kids actually come in here. The boxing, uh, it gives the kids uh, that self-confidence that the kids really need within themselves and, and they have, they don't have to prove that to anybody because within themselves they, they know that they can handle the, the you know, take care of uh, Business, you know, they, they can, they can, uh, uh, in talking to the kids, the kids that begin the boxing, talking to professional fighters like Terry Davis, uh, he's, he would, uh, he's the first one to tell you that boxing uh, helped them get away from the street fights that he used to get into. It helped them uh, uh, realize how stupid that was, you know, how stupid it was to get in fights and get in trouble uh, out there when you can come in here and get the frustrations out in the punching bag and, and, and and develop that self-confidence again that they need to, to stay away from those things. Uh, so boxing doesn't promote kids to go out there and beat up another kid. It, on the contrary, it helps them that gives them the self-confidence that they need not to do that. Uh, they don't have to prove anything to anybody. We have both. We have the Sureños and the Norteños here. Uh, one of the, uh, our local artists, you know, they're, they're part of the Sureños. Uh, we have kids that are from the Norteños that come here and work out, and, uh, and purposely I try to get those kids together when, when, they're, when they're hitting the banks, I try to get a Sureño to hold the back for the Norteño or vice versa. Uh, but we have both kids rep both gangs represented here, and, uh, and this is treated more like a safe zone. There is not to be any violence in here. 
uh, whether it's in here or, or in the parking lot, this is more like a safe zone, that it's part of the safe zone. And uh, particularly this place, and that, uh, I don't want them to fight at all, period. You know, that's, that's if, I, if I find out that they're fighting, you know, I, uh, you know, they most of us have they, they, they removed from it for the, for the, for the uh, depending on how severe the thing is, uh, we, we kick them out of the club for a week, you know, two weeks. Uh, we try to counsel, talk to them, we try to direct them to some type of counseling uh, and try to get to see how stupid that is, you know, fighting is really dumb. Uh, if there's some type of clothes, we try to get them trained here and maybe box in their ring and get those frustrations out in their ring with somebody else, not necessarily with a kid that they're upset with. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we do have both, you know, both gangs and your members of both gangs and they get along well. Well, they, they have to they have to uh, put in ten good practices of sessions before they can go in the ring, and so they have to come in and train for ten times. Uh, the whole the whole the whole training schedule that, that we go through, and then after they, they develop those skills, they can go in the ring. Uh, some kids go earlier because uh, we can see uh, Alfonso and Brian notice that they have a lot of ability to pick up things really fast, so they go in after the fourth to a fourth or fifth time. So they they they, they uh, we don't want them, we don't want them to get discouraged. So we want them to go in the ring and, and learn how to protect themselves and, 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 and box with you know, te uh, using techniques rather than punching each other. And uh, when we see that the kids can do those, can demonstrate those abilities, those, those basic fundamentals, then we, we allow them to go in the ring. Uh, I'd like to show to the community uh, the, that it, it is a good program. It's keeping the kids off the streets. Uh, uh, so the, you know, eventually I'd like to get a, like a, student, a, a community center where it's not, not, not just boxing going on, but we have basketball organized basketball going on, organized uh, uh, ESL, Texas English, English Second Language instruction is going on, um, uh, where the kids are getting tutored, you know, in the, in the, in the classes in the high school, uh, where that's what we, we, where we like to branch out and something like that. Here, here we have uh, this place that is really nice. Uh, but we don't have the facilities of a basketball or, uh, or uh, other classrooms that we can branch into uh, where kids can get counseled, you know, uh, get some type of psychological help, again, counseling, uh, uh, help in their subjects in school. Uh, so I, my vision is that I, I see a big thing happening. Again, tool is a tool, boxing is a tool being used to get to those things. Uh, and hopefully we will, you know, with the help, for the help of the community, the help of God, <laughs> the community. Uh, the parents, you know, uh, Alfonso has been a great help to me, and Alexei like Efrain, they've been really a lot of help. Um, and hopefully we can get more parents like that participating in the program. Looking for volunteers uh, to okay. help us, at least supervise the kids. We, we get, sometimes we get like 40 kids in here at one time, and it's, it's pretty hard to keep them organized. And, and just volunteers to come in here. Uh, and, and just people from the community come and see what we're doing. See how many kids are actually being involved in the program uh, and, and the instructions that the kids are getting, that they're getting really a lot of discipline. It's, it's more, uh, we spend over 90% of the time on, on physical fitness, you know, uh, on, rather than boxing. Uh, so with mostly physical fitness, following directions, instructions, um, you know, working together in cooperative uh, activities. Uh, group in little groups, you know, it's, it's, uh, so it's not just necessarily boxing that's going on. It's a lot of our uh, group, you know, interaction that is taking place. A lot of, and hopefully that's where we come in, being role, role models, positive role models. That I, uh, you know, I grew up here in Napa, and I try to give back to the community what Napa gave to me. So hopefully that message get across to the kids that if, uh, if if they do really well, if they do go to the Olympics and do really well, or any if they they, they do just well, positively, whether they go to Olympics or not, but they come back and help the community, help bring, it, bring other kids up. And that's where I'm, we're hoping to get that message, message across to the, to the kids that we have. Uh, to get back to the community, what the community is giving back to them. Eventually, with this program, things are going to start picking up. If the kids come in and see what we're doing for them, and we help them, we tell them, we, we don't just tell them here, but also at home, like their parents, we tell them, hey, you guys stay out of trouble, you know the same thing. Stay out of trouble, do good, do good in school. You don't even want to leave school, so just come to the box. You, know, you go to school, do good in school, get good grades, respect the people, and eventually everything's going to, I think, going to grow. You know, if this program keeps going, it's going to get better as the time goes on. Because, like Jesse was saying, 
classes for the people that don't know maybe English. Um, a lot of them maybe are shy. They don't, they don't, you know, but and then also the, the, the problem like fighting. We have guys here that will come in and they weren't getting like the other person or whatever, and then two or three days later they weren't here working out with them. Work out together. together. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's what is really important that uh, the community realize, to realize that uh, we, when we get over 100 kids, there's bound to be some disagreements, and we, we've been able to try to get those kids to get, I mean, to, 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 to intervene, you know, to stop those fights. Uh, uh, we had two incidents uh, uh, in here, but, you know, we got them right away. The kids, we, we had them introduce themselves to each other, and they realized that it wasn't, you know, it was really stupid what they were doing, and they didn't, they, uh, you know, they were reporting, like if I just mentioned, uh, that one kid's holding the bag for another kid, and it's, that's what it was to try and get across. That uh, it, it's really stupid what, what's going on out there, and by having you know us come in here, by having them come in here, uh, so hopefully we can give them the right direction, you know, right direction as to which which way they're going. Uh, and again, that's back where we really urge the other parents to get involved with this, you know, and, and send the kids in here, uh, talk to them, you know, encourage them to do well in school, uh, respect, you know, their fellow you know, people. Uh, we're, we all volunteer our time, and we do lovingly. You know, we, we, we love what we're doing. I really enjoy it. I stopped teaching right now. If I could, you know, if I could do this full time, if I had a, my wife or, or, you know, if I could get somebody to support me to get out of teaching and do this full time, I do this full time. I, I love doing this. Alfonso loves doing this. Uh, Efrain, you know, it's kind of hard to get him out of here. He's, he's here working with the kids all the time, and uh, so we love what we're doing. We're doing it uh, out of love for 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 our you know, for the kids because uh, we're concerned for them. We. Uh, we want to have the kids do things positive, uh, do well. You know, we want them to do really well in the community. And uh, again, we're not getting paid for this. This is all free. The, 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 the things that you see here, they're all, uh, you know, good friends of mine that donated money for me to give me money for this. The kids helped me saw, uh, sand and paint, and uh, Efrain helped a lot in painting. And we did all this together. The kids put the things together. We did it together as, as a family. And I'm glad our folks will remind me that, that we, again, we're, we're volunteers. We're not getting paid for this. But we do this out of the kindness of our hearts. Yeah.